All right, guys. <clears throat> well, it is a blustery winter day here in the great state of Texas, and uh, <coughs> I just had to. Uh, I, I, I just had to do this quick rant. I just finished up my uh, ecological meltdown roundup over there at Manga Bay, but right here from Yahoo News. All right, finally, we have Joe Biden. Joe Biden, yes, <clears throat> the planet-saving uh, president who just uh, okayed, what is it, one of the single biggest oil drilling uh, projects on public lands in history up there in Alaska. You know that saved the planet. Uh, Joe Biden, who politicked on no drilling on public lands, period, 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 period. So nobody understands this better than uh, Joe Biden, who says younger generations will be damned without climate change action. Yes, climate change uh, action. President Biden said in an interview on Monday that he, he warned that if more action is not taken to keep global temperatures in check, that demographic, quote, is damned. Now let's listen to directly out of the face of our president talking about how the youngsters are damned, which is another way of saying doomed, I guess. Quote, if we don't keep the temperature from going above one and a half degrees Celsius raised, then we are in real trouble. That whole generation, meaning the 18 to 35 year olds, I don't know about what happened to the under 18 year olds. Anyway, that whole generation is damned. I mean, that's not hyperbole. Really, truly in trouble. Close quote. Uh, he was talking about the, yeah, the, that generation between 18 and 35 now is damned. I, so if, if the 18 to 35 year olds are damned, I think the uh, one year olds through 17 year olds, I think we all know what they are. Right? Are they called Generation Z? Makes you wonder what follows Generation Z. Biden went on to describe the consequences of rising temperatures as a fact that people could no longer deny. Quote, I have traveled in helicopters over more forest area burned to the ground than the entire state of Maryland. That's how much has burned to the ground. And then floods, droughts, all those things. So people cannot deny it anymore. <clears throat> they can't deny the fact. Yes. A February poll found that 70% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 34 said they worry either a great deal or a fair amount about climate change. <clears throat> compared to 63% of those aged 35 50 to 54 and 56% of those aged 55 and older. But we have a but. But on the very same day that Biden was asked about climate change, his administration announced that it was giving final approval to a new and controversial oil drilling project in northern Alaska. Huh. 
approval for the Willow Oil Project drew sharp rebukes from climate activists, which contend that new oil drilling will all but ensure that the world will exceed one and a half degrees of temperature rise. You, you know, that is damning and uh, doing whatever else to the younger generations. This is Genevieve Gunther, a climate activist <coughs> from where, anyway, uh, <clears throat> quote, I am just appalled by the media coverage of the president's decision to approve the willow oil drilling in Alaska. Why is it framing Biden versus the activist when even the <coughs> International Energy Agency says that meeting the target of the Paris Agreement requires no new fossil fuel energy development. <clears throat> this, you know, this approval is not just about the president letting down, quote, activist and, quote, young people. This is about <clears throat> the U.S. not honoring its international commitments and undermining climate envoy John Kerry's credibility among nations close quote. Uh, when asked about the decision to continue drilling for oil, Biden uh, oh, uh, uh, to continue drilling for oil as well as what he would tell young people who believe <coughs> Who may believe, who may believe he is not taking swift enough action to address climate change. This is what Joe Biden said in his defense, and uh, I agree with every word uh, getting ready to come out of Joe Biden's mouth. Okay, so uh, when confronted with this uh, apparent uh, what do you call it? Is it is it is it hypocrisy? Uh, is it talking out of both sides of his mouth? This is what Joe Biden explained uh, how this works, how the world works. Take it away, Joe. Quote: Well, first of all, we, meaning his administration, are going faster than anyone has ever gone, and that, that probably is true. <clears throat> well, I don't know who the we is referring to. Uh, anyway, I don't know who this we is referring to. Well, first of all, we are going faster than anyone has ever gone. We're going to need fossil fuels for at least the next 10 years. It's not like Tomorrow, we can turn it all off. We can do solar. We can do wind cheaper than we can do fossil fuels. So, it's a matter of transitioning, but it's not like you can cut everything off immediately. Close quote. And wrapping up this article... Uh, about how Biden's Inflation Reduction Act is supercharging the nation's transition to renewable energy. But it remains to be seen whether the U.S. will be able to meet Biden's goal of weaning the country off of fossil fuels by 2035 or of achieving 80% renewable energy generation by 2030. Yes, it will remain to be seen. But anyway, thank you, uh, Joe Biden, for uh, finally not being the... Uh, 
liar in chief uh, admitting that the 18 to 35 year olds are damned <clears throat> and leaving it up to you to decide what it means for the 1 to 17 year olds and admitting that we are not going to turn off fossil fuels anytime soon, but I got to turn on my fossil fuels. I just tanked up. I just put another 17 gallons of fossil fuels in my gas-sucking truck so I can get out of here and head to Austin, Texas so I can party like it's 1999 on this cold winter day. <clears throat> I highly suggest you get out there and party like it's 1999. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.